Okay, welcome back to our lesson number eight. Uh, we just finished uh, some functions that were featured in our PowerPoint. Uh, left, the right, the mid, and then the uh, trim. And then we also discussed the, uh, manipulating cases like upper cases, lower cases, and the proper cases. Okay, so let's continue. Let me show again the PowerPoint. Okay, so the next uh, function that we're going to discuss is find. So what is find? So it will return the number. It is a number. And what's that number? It's the position of the text that you're finding within the text. Example, in the word president, we want to find uh, letter S. What's the position of letter S? Okay, so it will give you the result number. Okay. So let's uh, go back to our, let's go back to our Excel. Okay, so let me just delete all of these functions here. Okay, let me check if there are some more. So as we said, the first, uh, the original text is precedent. What we're going to find out is what's the position of letter S. So supposed to be, uh, as you are now counting, it should be number four uh, or position number four. So find, okay, find text is we're going to find letter S. Oops, sorry. And then within text C2, and then start number is optional, uh, but by default it will be one. So let me just not put anything anymore there. Okay, so let's see. Oh, let's see, the uh, answer is number four. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, so let's try if we copy it here. Nine, vice S is here, so it's in the nine position. Let's copy it again. Nine again, okay. And let's see in the other human resources. So it's the ninth position also. Uh, and then next, there's no S in our uh, marketing manager. So that's why it returned an error, which is value. Okay, so let's go back again to our PowerPoint. Okay, next and final slide. We have length. Okay, it returns the length of the string. Again, the, uh, the, uh, the, the result of this or the answer to this is a number, but what that, what's that number? It's the length, okay? Meaning it will count the number of characters. Remember, space is a character, okay? So let's go back to our um, Excel file for our example. So let me just end this PowerPoint. Let me share again our Excel file. Okay, our uh, goal is to give an example for that length. Okay, length function or len function, short for length. So equals len, simple as that. We're going to use C2 again. What will be the result? A number, the length or the number of characters, okay, in that cell. So nine, okay. So let me just show to you or show you that space is a character. So I put a space before the word precedent. Okay, you can see the change. Okay, it becomes 10. Also, after the word, if I put some spaces there, you can see that it will also count the uh, spaces because it will count the number of characters within that text. Okay, so I copied the function. You can see it counted the number of characters within that cell. Okay, so let's go back to our PowerPoint again.
Okay, so the next uh, um, the next function is called replace. What is this replace? It's just going to replace some of the text inside the cell, okay, and bring a new one. Okay, so what are you going to do? The old text is the original text. Okay, where are you going to start and how many characters are you going to change and what's the new text that you're going to uh, uh, replace the old one? So let me again go back to our Excel file. Okay. So we're just going to use the same set of cells. Let me just delete again the functions I made here. I'm going to use precedent. Okay, I'm going to use this. Uh, so I'm going to use equal sign replace. You can see that I'm typing it. Okay, it's faster. Old text is C2. Okay, start number. I'm going to change one, two, three, four, starting the, from the fourth character. So I'm going to start with letter S. Sorry. So I'm going to specify number four. Start number. I'm going to start with letter S. Okay. Now, number of characters that I'm going to change. So I'm going to change again four characters. So expect I started with S and then four characters S I D E. Okay, inside this that S I D E will be changed. But what will I change? I have to specify here. So uh but what can I change? I don't know. So but let's change it with this one. No, it's lame. Let's see. And then close parenthesis. So I change it with L A M E. Okay. So that's the uh, that's the function or our formula. Replace C two. That means this one starting from letter S, the fourth character. That's why we specify it here. And then how many characters? So S I D E is four characters. Then we're going to change it with L A M E. So this is just very simple also, but it will be uh, fun to use it. Okay, in the future. So let me just see. And then, yeah. So this is how it looks like. Okay, when you apply it with other text. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to end this video and I'm going to give you another part. So just stay tuned and watch for the next video. See you.